Hi, this is a video I'm going to be showing you about Egyptian e Egyptian desert glass, and here here is a piece of Egyptian in Egyptian desert glass, and and as you can see, this is just a um, a chunk. It's it's very clear. It, well, it's 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 actually uh, it, it's also called Libyan desert glass, and it was formed. Millions and millions and millions of years ago, when a, 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 a thing blew up in the sky, a, a meteor, I think, blew up over e, uh, Western Egypt and the border with um, with Libya. And maybe I should do it this way. So what we have here is a um, you know is a piece of clear glass because it melted the sand above that area and they have these chunks of glass and they come in different colors I mean more toward yellows and then they come in you know clear like this and um, the yellow one one of the yellow ones actually appeared on the on King Tut's um, a necklace of King Tut's which you know it, it shows that they actually had access to this stuff and that was made into a scarab and the reason I'm showing you this stuff is because it is my constitutionally protected opinion that the Egyptians actually had advanced lenses. Now, they've been known to have made very advanced lenses for some statues where it's curved and very precisely done. So it would have been done by a jeweler. Um, but like the interior, it, it, there's a convex on one side and concave on the other, and it has like a pupil. And they say it doesn't matter where you are in the room, it looks like it, it, it's looking at you. So my point is, I went and tracked down some of these pieces to see if my theory is correct, because I personally believe that the Egyptians had advanced lenses and they were using it for all types of things like um, uh, transits, um, for, for uh, la uh, um, um, you know, with the, uh, oh gosh, I'm drawing a blank right now. Um, but they had transits for surveying. And so I'm going to show you, for instance, here was a piece of the desert glass that I actually turned into a lens. And as you can see, it's an actual lens. It actually, you know, I just took it and ground it down with a, with a rock. And then I actually took some very fine, fine sandpaper, which they had sand and they had jewelers who were polishing things. So it was just the same thing that a jeweler would have done. But so you could take this and by sanding it, you end up making a lens as you can see here's a lens that as you can see it actually works so the Egyptians did not have to invent clear clear glass which wasn't invented till thousands and thousands of years later but they, they did it this way and they were able to make lenses for telescopes or whatever they wanted and so I, I had experimented I had started out with a small one first this was my first one and as you can see, this is a this is actually a lens that works. And then I, I did that bigger one, um, but I also have gone and I wanted to see, you know, here here was a piece. So like the scarab they made is like this, that would be thinner on the two sides. Um, but the point is, once you curve that, you end up getting an actual uh, actual lens, and it's. You know, it's just a piece of, of stuff, you know. Then they had access to probably better pieces. Mine were just whatever I could find online. But that, you know, you can see that it, it works as an actual lens. And, you know, I'll even take little scraps that come off of the stuff I'm doing and make other lenses and things. So, you know, it's, it's pretty simple to get a lens out of this stuff. And the moment you break one, you know, like you're... You start, I mean, it starts to alter. Here was some fragments off of, of the piece of stone, the, the, the glass that I had from this one. And as you can see, you know, the moment something like this breaks, they're going to notice and go, hey. So as a jeweler, they'd be, oh, what is this? I mean, I want to turn this in to see if I can make a, um, um, you can see how it's working there, and, and make a prism.
make a small prism out of this piece because I personally believe, it's my constitutionally protected opinion, that the Egyptians had advanced technology for uh, making lenses and things like that. And I personally believe that I have just proven it um, very simply by just sanding down some very simple pieces. As you can see that, you know, the imperfections within this, there's imperfections in here, the stuff that's still in the glass. And, you know, when I look at things like here's a, a picture from, um, you know, this one is saying music and dance which is really stupid because when you when you look at this picture it shows like these girls dancing and these older ladies here but it turns out I had a feeling that these these women they're older and I had a feeling due to their outfits and stuff that they were involved in some type of like weaving and things and it turns out everybody says this is an Egyptian flute where is the thing here it says that the reed pipe the double reed pipe well I bought up a double reed pipe and that's not a double reed pipe that's actually, when you really get close to it, and you start to look closer, it's actually just um, uh, uh, things for yarn, knitting needles. It's two very long knitting needles. And when you look at their hair, it's an indication that, you know, weaving of hair is, a, you know, the type of stuff that, that has been done for years. And then you get over to these two girls. They're not dancing. You know, look, look right here. She's doing her hair. Look, the girl's doing the lady's hair. So this is, this is not, you know, to, whenever they tell you that it's religion and things, no, the Egyptians were so obviously they gifted at doing practical things that they were showing it. It's not religion. This is just two lady. this lady's goofing, and then these girls are doing their hair. So, you know, they, just the fact that they could have lenses and this was just that page I happened to be on. But, yeah, so that's it. Just wanted you know. I'm, this is E.B., Jersey Genius, smartest man in the world, inventor of the Boonsburg Egg. And thank you.